right so favorite music like do you guys have any favorite artists oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah i can't oh this podcast is gonna take so long i'm gonna be here for forever now favorite oh yeah i have so many how many you want me to recommend <laughs> oh, yeah. i don't know how many do you think so okay i'm gonna okay so very first one very first one like on on the post that we put on on instagram if you don't follow us on instagram follow us there uh give us a like we're pretty good content uh on that post i recommended uh arctic monkeys mm. they're by far by far my favorite bit and it's just so good it's so good like i, I can be here like forever trying to convince you that they're the best band in the planet <laughs> but they're so good like from the beginning to now it's so i feel like everyone heard about do i want to know do i want to know it's just like a huge hit and it was um and they're like not as popular today because like indie rock is just not as popular as it used to be but they still make their way into the you know to the all of us and everything so arctic monkeys great then second one the killers go for it the killers perfect doesn't have a single flaw it's amazing and brandon flowers is just, is just he's just great he's just a great human being you know so that is really good and then third um let's go it's all rock though <laughs> and the third one uh red hot chili peppers mm-hmm. it's just you know the good old funk rock just and now yeah. frusian came back so who knows what's gonna happen so they'll get her players back so great future oh yeah those those are very good artists all three of them like i know them and i love them too they're <laughs> yeah. really good very good Johan? i like them too a lot um my favorite artist would be post malone i i okay i think his album hollywood bleeding is really good like it, i think it's just a completely different um change from his other albums um like his other albums actually were kind of like hip hop uh towards rap but this one's kind of like smooth and just like it's it's completely different and like it just puts you in the vibe in a really good mood but yeah that's my that's my favorite album <laughs> i feel like i know post malone a little bit i don't know specific songs i think the only one that i know is sunflower which was like mm-hmm. the like uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, uh, like the animated movie. Yeah. That's a good movie too, by the way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. That's a really good song. Yeah. yeah. Can we? I think my favorite, and this is like an old one, but I love Sam Cooke. Like that's like such an old person thing to say, but I could listen to like seriously. My favorite song of all time is "Wonderful World" by him. It's so so good, but like. I don't know, I'm trying to get more into, like, current. So, so, my sisters are converting me slowly to Harry Styles. Slowly oh, to the Jonas yeah. Brothers. <laughs> Jonas Brothers. Um, I don't really, oh, yeah. like, That's growing me. up, my mom always played country music. So, it's like, I don't know, I never loved country music, but I'm starting to like Casey Musgraves. She has some good stuff. It's not, like, so country. Um... Yeah, really. I'm not really picky. Like, seriously. Yeah, I was just telling my, like, siblings the other day, I was like, don't you just wish we would have went to that Post Malone concert? Like, don't you wish now that, like, we can't leave our house, don't you wish we would have done that? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we really do. And I'm like, yeah, I know. We really let that one go. So, yeah, I'm not picky. Like, when it comes to music, I'll really listen to anything. Mm -hmm. But her side is really good. Oh, just yeah. saying. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> He's really good. I think for me, uh, my top band out of like all time is the Lumineers. So yeah. mm-hmm. I, I just like this right here. <laughs> it's a Lumineers quote that I just completely love so much. So for me, they're like 100% top band. And then uh, Hosier has to be my number two. Oh yeah. Because he's just so good. I went to like a host series concert, which was actually my last concert that before like the quarantine happened last year. 
and it was just the best concert that I've ever been to in my whole life. It was just so immersive and I love him. He's such a good person, such a good human being. I love him. So, That's good. Yeah. I almost went to that one concert. I almost. It was really close to go. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet. I almost went to Post Malone as well. Because <laughs> usually I just like, sometimes I'm just bored and then I look at it and I'm like, oh, let's see concerts. And I just go because like it's really cheap whenever you buy it on that day. Mm -hmm. Like I paid like 30 bucks like to see like the weekend and it was really close. So I almost went to those two by doing the same strategy, just waiting for the last second. I think uh, my last one is um, of Monsters and Men. So they're also kind of like indie, rockish kind of music, which they're not, I don't think they're that well known, but or, or the one song that I always hear on the radio is like Little Talks. That's the one that yeah. I always hear. But I love them too. They're really good. They're like my top, like three, those are my top three. And the Lumineers and um, of Monsters and Men, they were actually going to have like two separate like shows <laughs> this year, which I like. Um. Mm-mm. <laughs> Cancelled. Yeah. I'm so Cancel. excited for them. <laughs> yeah. Although the Lumineers may still happen because that's in November, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like patiently waiting for them to be a thing. Yeah. So any favorite like actual like albums out of all the bands? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um from Arctic Monkeys, Humbug, from the Killers. Hafas from Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium, Stadium Arcadium, I think it's better for everyone. For me, Hollywood Bleeding. Hollywood's Bleeding. There we go. Kevin, do you have like a favorite album? Hmm, I don't know really, honestly. Probably, this is such another old person thing to say, but it has, like, sentimental value to me. Like, my dad has a record. It's, like, the, um, it's called Dean Martin, Happiness Is. And, like, during, like, a different, like, when my family was moving, I had, like, a quote made, like, on a sign from that album that we, like, hang in our house. So, it's actually the quote that was hanging on our wall in the um, hallway by the phone room. Like, that quote came from that album. So, it just has like sentimental reason, I guess. Oh, or any Christmas, like seriously, any Christmas album, that's the best album ever. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> Christmas. I miss the playlist that we used to have. <laughs> really good. Oh, yeah. I think for me, like out of the Lumineers, I would say my favorite record is uh, Cleopatra. Because it just has like an actual, like, they made an actual video that's kind of like an actual story of a person. And it's just like so immersive to me. Like every song has like, it's like a movie. Cause it's like an hour or something long. And so it's like on their YouTube channel, I think. And that, that to me was like one of the most immersive albums that they had just solely because of that like music. Like, I don't know what they call it, but it's, yes, music video would be the word, but it's just like all connected and they all like tie in together. So good. Yeah. That one for me. And I think for Hosier it would be like his like self-titled Hosier, like the expanded edition album that's also on Spotify, I think. Oh, do you guys have any favorite YouTubers or YouTube channels? Um I do. And I have a tat too. Okay, so uh favorite one. I might be being between, but favorite one uh I really recommend for everyone to watch. It's called Yes Theory. Yeah. I have a yes theory. Um, it's all about like being like positive and getting out of your comfort zone and like, you know, living life like in different experiences other than just like work, school, and then house and everything. So it's amazing how like the approach, how life can be like so much more with so much less especially if you go to like to the old videos it's just amazing because like they didn't have like much money to produce or anything so they would just do like spontaneous thing like on the street they would just like walk by people and be like oh like i just want to say that i love you and people would and like you would have so many like good experiences coming from there you know 
people would be like, oh, like, thank you. Like, I love you too. And they made like so many friends because of those. I even did that once, like the I love you one. It was, it was a great experience. Um, so yes, theory is my top one. It's like a lifestyle. And I think it really helps you grow as a person. And then the second one, which is completely opposite, I guess, it's David Dobrik. It's just so funny. It's so funny. It's just so, like, it's short videos. It's like 420, but it's short videos, 4 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> Ask him. I don't know about that. But it's funny. It's, it keeps you entertained. And also, he's such a good person. Because usually, like, those YouTubers, those mainstream YouTubers, like, they really don't care. Like, they, all, they have money. They don't give it back. But he, he's just such a good person, you know, like he goes to universities and then he pays for like people tuition or like now in the quarantine, he literally, he went on the street on his car and he handed people like tablets and like phones, like iPads, iPhones, or like just handed like I, a check for like $10,000 because people didn't have jobs. So he is the second one that like I like the most, not just because it's funny, but also it's really funny, but because he's such a good person. So I think you, you all should give it a try because also like supporting those people, you support a kind of like attitude. Mm -hmm. Henry, do you have like a favorite YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. The one that I've been like catching up on now that I have all this free time is like, I'm seriously like the biggest Full House fan. Like I have seen every episode when that was on Nick at Night, I used to watch it all the time. As like a kid and then when they made the reboot that was like christmas morning i was so excited but um one of the actresses on there that plays the neighbor so like kimmy gibbler she she's amazing like mm, like that kimmy gibbler is like my spirit animal but the actress that plays her has like a youtube channel where she takes you like behind the scenes of like making the reboot oh, wow. so they like show like the sets and like how like what the like sets actually look like so it's like the kitchen steps don't actually go anywhere and it's just like really cool like and they're like a really tight cast so they're always like playing pranks on each other so I've like really enjoyed like going back and like watching those and then like I'll watch like just like how-to videos like mm -hmm. weird like crafty DIY type stuff or like the um 73 questions on the Vogue YouTube is so good. Or like Elle does the song associations. Those are so good too. Just, yeah. I feel like I watch a lot of like the Vogue, um, like welcome to my house videos. Like yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> welcome to my house. Oh yeah. It, for me, those are like really good. I think my favorite YouTube channel is like, crash course for real just, oh yeah i love that yeah or honestly like the most youtube i'm watching these days is, are my stats lectures i'm not even kidding yes so i love just like the random knowledge that that gives me like uh so they have like crash course sociology and then mythology and psychology those are like the three favorite ones that i have because then they have others about like physics and stuff like that but that gets like really deep into those like if, if you really like this then you'll love it for me i like more of just like those entertaining ones like physiology and like how the human mind works and psychology the same thing and then mythology just because like i like weird myths and legends from like across the world i just do <laughs> for some reason so for me that's so, those are nice oh yeah. that for me would be like my youtube channel and i think uh the other one would probably be um sophia nygaard so she's like this uh, YouTuber that does a lot of like li lifestyle things. Um, she recently got married, so she had like a whole like five videos about that. But for me, it's kind of just entertaining to, she, she seems like such a nice person and watching her videos are like so to me entertaining. She does like weird ones too, where she like combines like all of the lipstick at a Sephora and they create like one mega lipstick out of it. And they, the last one they did like that was like create, combining all the bath bombs at like Bath and Body Works, I think, and creating like oh, wow. mega, like humongous thing out of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
I think for me, the first one would be TED Talks. Uh, there's some TED Talks on there that actually are very inspiring. And there's just like, help you look at the world differently and uh, positively as well. Um, some of them was the one that actually Cassie posted, uh, which is Cassie, our manager, uh, who posted about that and about the something that brings you joy. So like, it's just stuff like that, that it just makes you think about the world and think about the things that you see. My second YouTuber, he's actually, he kind of reminds me of David Dobrik, but his name is Mr. Beast. He actually yeah. does a lot of challenges like um, with his friends and, and he invites people on his channel to do them. And usually like if people win, he gives them money. The, I think the last one was like a million dollars, which is a lot of money. But he does a lot of stuff with charity and he's a really good guy as well. Like he just likes to help out and give out to the community. And he also gives something out to, because of quarantine as well and COVID. So. Yeah, he did a tree once, right? Like, the part, yeah. he was just, oh, that was that was amazing. Like, I didn't know him before that. But then, like, I was like, look at this guy. He's just, like, planting trees. I was like, who's this guy? Who's this I was guy? Like, I was like, oh, wow. Like, he's, like, his channel is, like, kind of, like, I don't know if, like, child, like, I don't know if, like, kids focused. Maybe. But like, he, ju he just, I w yeah, I would say, but. He just does so so much good, you know, and it's it's I'll, those YouTubers I I can just support them whenever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think it's really like nice to see actual YouTubers like get back to the audience and just people that need it, especially right yeah. now. I think that's super great, super cool. Love that. Oh, yeah. um, all right. So then, um, seriously, going off the crash course, I think I watched all of the crash course government ones. Seriously. If you guys want to know how I won um, Constitution Day Trivia, Crash Course. <laughs> crash Course. If you see so random facts, like they really do. <laughs> and they're funny yeah. too. Like they make them really interactive and funny. Or like the animation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like in the government ones, the guy always like, they have like a it's like a rubber duck, but it's like a bald eagle, and he always knocks it off somehow off the desk in the government ones. It's like, it's so funny. Like, I watched them for a class, and now I just, like, can't stop. They're just so good. Oh, yeah. I used Crash Course Sociology once for, like, a sociology presentation. Like, I did. <laughs> I just played it, and then I explained everything that was going on in the video, and that was, like, my presentation. Yeah. <laughs> it worked for that, too. <laughs> hey, it worked. It did. <laughs> All right. So our last question: Have you guys been uh, keeping yourselves sort of entertained throughout this pandemic, just like we've been stuck at home all the time? Hmm. I have been. Um, all right. So the beginning, but like we we were just like out of spring break. Like we didn't have much to do, so I was just playing video games a lot. I was just playing video games. I have this group of friends from my from my hometown that we used to play video games a lot. But since I moved here, like I used to study and all that, and it has like the time zone, I didn't play with them much. But now that everyone's at home, I just play with them like so much. Like it's really good because I got to connect them with them after like years, like I would say like a couple of years. So that was the beginning. And then after that, stats just came at me like a rocket <laughs> and then I had to study for that so much so I guess like this past like couple weeks and this week now in the next one like since it's, it's finals I have been just studying a lot but I would say like video games and study that's what keeps me going right now that's good <laughs> yeah. um Honestly, for me, what I've been doing is, one, studying a lot because we're in finals week. But, no, like, I, I can go back to what Felix said. Like, when we first got out, like, when we first got out, it was literally like, whoa, like, oh, my gosh, like, we're out. Like, it's, it's going to be a long break. I'm so excited. I didn't do anything. But, like, as we keep progressing, like, I'm more productive. Like, I actually – started cleaning a lot like I'm organizing things in my room like I'm just like creating new projects drawing um, like writing stories um, 
just like trying to keep myself entertained but whenever like I find myself just like driving and driving myself insane like I just can't be home like I'll just go out for a drive or something like that because that's like a safe way to be out I guess yeah like I feel the same way like when we first found out that we were having like a long spring break I think everybody kind of thought we might possibly come back that first week of April like nobody yeah. really knew so I was kind of like excited I was like like because I had to be at JCCC every single day by 8 a.m. between classes and working. So I was like, I'm just going to sleep in. Um, and then when we kind of started figuring out we weren't going back, I was like, mm, now what do I do? So like the like amount of time like I've had to study for my classes has been insane. Like my grades have gone actually up between all this because I've had yeah. so much time just to dedicate to nothing but studying. And then like... For fun stuff, I ordered a tie-dye kit, and I'm, like, trying to figure out what to tie-dye, because when I ordered it on Amazon, it said, like, the arrival was, like, mid-June, and I was, like, okay, and then it showed up, like, last week, so I'm, like, oh. Oh, that's good. That's good. And then, like, my family is definitely doing yard work, taking planting this, taking this down, <laughs> hence the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just same as Johan, like, I take my little dog, Paisley, out. She loves to go for a car ride, so. Oh my god. Out we go. So she's too lazy to go on a walk, and so am I, so we go on a car ride. <laughs> <laughs> baking, I can't stop baking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hmm. I wish uh, I wish I just can cook or bake anything, but I think I I've been making bread a lot recently, just like in the past like three weeks. I've mm. been trying out different recipes. Just, I I have so much time to do this. Like now that next week is finals, I don't have a lot of time to do anything other than. That. <laughs> <laughs> but like before this, like two weeks, I've a lot of yoga truly like cause mm. I used to like go to the gym and do that but now that I can't and then I just like set up a space like in my room and I do it like when I wake up and it just like refreshes my day <laughs> it keeps me like motivated to like keep actually you know working and doing things and then um I've been reading a lot because I have like a big collection of books that I want to get through I brought a lot of them from Paraguay I just like I have a list it is just uh -huh. they were just sitting there and now I actually have time to read them and go through them. So I'm between like that, baking bread, <laughs> and then homework. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can totally the, the quarantine was kind of good for the school, not going to lie. Like, yeah. besides that, like all other classes, I already passed them. Like, that, was, that would not happen before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it would always like leave for the last second. Mm -hmm. And then like, now I try leaving for the last second. But, like, the last second is, like, the entire day because I have nothing else to do. And then I would just be like, okay, well, I guess I'll just do homework. And then when you see, like, you were just done with the class, like, a week before because you turned everything in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, was, that was good. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I feel like for everybody, like, um, this, like, pandemic helped them with their grades. Like, if they actually wanted to. Just, like. Yeah. I think as this pandemic also helped with family. I don't know how you feel about that, but mm. I used to like just be so busy. Like I would go to work, go to class, then like try to go to the gym, come back, do homework. And then I would have like an hour before bed to do something. So like I would barely see my family. But now that like I have so much time and like I'm keeping things like on schedule, we have been hanging out a lot. I know that a lot of people just the opposite. They have been hanging out like way too much. But now I, I really feel like I connected with them more, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. And like also like family, like we're quarantined together. So like we see each other all the time. Which is, it's been really nice. It has been. We haven't there's still like things we want to do we're like we haven't put a puzzle together yet so we're like we still have a list of stuff to do and it's like 
stuff we never would have been able to do before. So it's been really nice. No, oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Well, thank you, Felix, so much for joining us on our first episode of the Cavalier Corner. And thank you so much to everyone for tuning in. Uh, we'd love to hear your suggestions on what topics you'd like us to cover next. Uh, check out our other social media platforms. We're JCCC Student Life on Instagram and Facebook. And we also have our Get Involved at JCCC page for more fun events and activities. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thank you. Bye.